Man, it's so beautiful. And as you can see, the fog just going over this like peninsula right there. The first impressions of Megalaya, incredible. Good morning, everyone. I hope you're all doing well. This is David Hoffman from David's Bin here in beautiful Guwahati, Assam, India. It's 5.30 a.m. and what I'm doing today is I'm waiting for my taxi and I'm driving down two and a half hours to Shillong, the capital of the state of Meghalaya. Meghalaya is like the wettest state in India. It's a huge rainforest. It looks incredible. It looks like Scotland down there. And I'm gonna be spending four nights in Shillong. I'm spending two days like exploring the capital and then two days exploring more of Meghalaya. I'm very, very excited. I've heard so many good things. And yeah, today we're gonna drive down two and a half hours. I'm gonna give you my first impressions of Meghalaya. And let's get my bags and let's go downstairs. My taxi should be here any minute. Let's go. Lots and lots of bags. I have so many bags, guys. It's insane. It's like too many. Look at that. My backpack is stuffed. Got the big one, got the small one. Keys. Let's open this guy up. I stay in Guwahati for three nights. I explored two days in Guwahati and then one day in Manas. And I gotta say, it was amazing. Food was outstanding. Loved all the sites, all the temples. Wow, I mean, so many good things to eat here. Tali's street food. I mean, you name it, they got it. Well, by the way, I love my Airbnb here. It's a three bedroom. Very safe, as you can see. Lots of locks. You're back on. <laughs> Not so bad? It's okay. This one fish? This one. Oh, let's go to Shilong. In case you guys don't know, here in India, you can hire taxis to take you between cities. So this is actually a short trip. This is a two and a half hour drive and it costs, it's costing me like 3,000 rupees, which is a little bit on the pricier side. But the thing is, this guy has to actually come back. So they charge you double. So it really is like 1,500, but they're charging you double because he has to come back all the way back here to Guwahati. When I finish from Megalaya, I'm gonna do a drive from Shillong all the way to Tezpur, which is the next city, which is like four hours from here. It's, so it's like six hours from Shillong and that's gonna be probably like, you know, 5,000 rupees. And it's the great thing is that I can just hire a taxi, tell him a time, it could be four in the morning, he'll drive me all the way and I can sleep all the way. So what am I gonna do now? Then I'll probably pass out for a bit, get some shots, but pass out and wake up with Megalaya. Can't wait. Uh, a fudgy, a fudgy. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm hungry guys. This is Megalaya, this is Assam, this is border. So we're in Meghalaya now? Meghalaya, yes. Okay, so we have entered Meghalaya, the wettest state in India. Nothing's really changed. The only thing I do see that's different is that you see a lot more mountains over here because Assam is very flat. I mean, most of it's flat because you're along the river. Over here, we see a lot of mountains. It's like a huge cloud. And I think it's called something cloud. I forgot the nickname, why they call it Meghalaya. It's like adobe in the cloud or something. And um, yeah, I mean, Oh my god, it's a lot of clouds. Rain? Rain? Rain. Rain. Maybe. I mean, it's pretty early, so it's basically just a little fog right now. We've been driving in Meghalaya for about 15 minutes, and my first impressions are that this place reminds me of Costa Rica in Central America. I mean, as you can see, we're like driving through mountains, through forests, just zigzagging through these mountains. Incredible. Yeah, I mean, it's beautiful out here. As I said before, the wettest state in India. I'm gonna give you some facts about the state. So Meghalaya is bordered to the north and east by Assam and to the south by Bangladesh. Its name translates to Adobe of Clouds. The capital is Shillong, a city of 143,000 between Brahmaputra and Surma Valleys in the East Kasi Hills District. The state is known for its mountains, valleys, and highland plateaus, many of which are covered in thick, lush green vegetation. One third of the state is forest, which is home to a rich and diverse array of mammals, birds, and plants, including tigers, elephants, hullock gibbons, gray hornbills, black bear, peacock, leopards, sunbar deer, and Siberian ducks. Meghalaya didn't become an autonomous state until 1972. Prior to that, it was part of Assam. 
Meghalaya is known for being the wettest state in India and the town of Chirapunji, also known as Sorha in the East Kasi Hills District, is often credited to being the wettest place on earth and it averages over 460 inches of rain per year. English is the official language of Meghalaya, while Kasi and Garu are also widely spoken. Meghalaya is known for natural beauty, which was noticed by the British during the rule of India from 1858 to 1947. British rulers in the country nicknamed Meghalaya the Scotland of the East because of its highlands, fog, and gorgeous scenery. And there you have it, Scotland of the East. And the food out here looks incredible. They have a lot of pork dishes, which is very different from the rest of India. So we're gonna eat a lot of food here in Shillong. Oh man, I am so excited. I think my friend and me need to stop for breakfast. Breakfast. Yes. You know, I was telling you before that it reminds me of Costa Rica, but it also reminds me of Malawi, the country of Malawi in Africa. Just because it's like a little bit of green and then the brown and then the way the towns are here it looks similar, very similar to that, that country. Lots of green hills. I love how the fog overlooks it. And I haven't been to Scotland, so I can't tell you it looks like Scotland, but I'm guessing it does just because of how the green factor here. And it also reminds me of countries like in Southeast Asia, like Malaysia, driving to the Cameroon Highlands up there in the mountains. You know, it was very hilly, very green. So that's another place that it reminds me of. It's another incredible undiscovered place in India. I can't believe I never heard about it before planning this trip. We're currently about 30 minutes outside of Shillong. And what I gotta tell you is that there's so many trucks on this road, it's insane. My driver is like literally weaving through the trucks, honking and honking. And the road is just like a super winding road the entire time. You know, lots of mountains, really high hills actually, not mountains, hills. And I mean, we just keep going up and down and around and turning. I mean, it's, it's just never ending. And I'd suggest not eating anything before coming uh, to do this uh, little journey. But yeah, I mean, it's so many trucks. And over here, as you can see on the side of the road, is a lot of uh, like a lot of lumber, a lot of wood. You know, lots of little huts, and they're selling, uh, you know, basically just wood. And then there's also a lot of dabas. So dabas are like traditional roadside restaurants on the highways, and that's usually for truck drivers. If you didn't see my other video, it's a huge variety of Indian food from all the states of India. It's very nice. Sun's coming out, fog is coming down. Just a gorgeous place. I mean, I'm super, super excited for the next four days. I cannot wait to eat some pork dishes there. As I said earlier, pork is like the number one thing here. Pork, 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 pork. Like pork intestines on skewers. Oh, yummy. Right now we're like in a super tight, windy road through a thick bush. Okay guys, so we just stopped here at this lookout point. Everybody's here taking photos. So guys, it's amazing. Wow. It's a lake? What? This is the biggest lake in Shillong or Meghalaya, you say. Yeah, you think so? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it looks huge. Man, it's so beautiful. As you can see, the fog just going over this like peninsula right there. Incredible. Everybody's stopping here. Uh, there's also some shops here, so you can buy some snacks if you want. Man, this is just incredible. First impressions of Meghalaya? Incredible. When are you going to upload this vlog? This vlog, uh, a month. Yeah. Come on. Thanks, guys. Yeah, we don't know if it really is the biggest lake in Meghalaya, but I mean, <laughs> he thinks it is. I mean, it looks huge. Ooh, did we crash into something? Ooh. It's okay. Did we hit something? Ooh, ooh. Oh. We just crashed into that thing right there. Uh, yeah, that wasn't good. He scratched up his car really bad. I've been getting this question a lot. People keep asking me, you know, why have you returned to India for the third time? And all I could say is incredible India. It's so diverse. Every single state is so different from the other. And it's like this place, like I didn't know this existed. This really feels like a whole different world from India. And you know, language changes food changes people change and landscape changes everywhere you go in india it's a place you can explore for years and years i mean this is my third trip and that's in one year so i did three trips in one year and i feel like i can come here two or three times a year for the next 10 15 years and just scratch the surface that's how diverse it is 
mean, so many places from, you know, hill stations down to beaches. You got cities in the center. You have so many places to visit. So we just entered the capital of Meghalaya, Shillong. And the first thing I can tell you is that everybody looks more Asian than Indian. They really have these features in the eyes where they look more like Southeast Asian or Chinese. Very different looking culture here. And it's so unique because this part of Northeastern India, that's, that's the most unique part about it is that the people are so diverse because it's been a big mix of tribes up here. And the people here, they're Kasi, the Kasi people, Kasi. So Kasi people, and it's so different. They speak Kasi as well, they speak another language. And then English again is the official language of the state. And yeah, we're almost there. And I'm staying actually in the police bazaar area right in the center i rented an airbnb there god i can't wait to see my place let's go shillong is so different from any other capital i've been to it's like a series of winding streets going up and down and around and around i mean i'm gonna get so lost here thank god that i have a friend who's taking me around for the next four days but wow it is so different it's a little cold as well luckily i brought a sweater definitely bring a sweater with Maybe a, a beanie as well. I need to get a beanie ready for the beginning of this trip. But yeah, I mean, it looks really nice. It smells like burning. They're burning some fire somewhere around here. And yeah, I mean, all these old, old buildings you can see. Lots of people, black tiger cement. I mean, that's like everywhere. Lots of cars, tons of cars. Look, welcome to Shillong. We just entered the Police Bazaar neighborhood. It's a very nice neighborhood in the center of the city. That's where I'm staying. I rented an Airbnb, a two bedroom Airbnb. I just looked up, you know, Airbnb is right in the center right here. And I only found one, so that's the one I'm staying at. And yeah, I just want to be really central. And it's actually right next to St. Anthony's College. And I love the trees here. So we made it to the apartment, but we're waiting for them to open the gate. And it's literally right in front of St. Anthony's College. My driver is getting desperate. He's like honking like crazy because we, we're backing up traffic behind us. How do we get in here? And here we are, mid to the Airbnb. Hey, how you doing? David, pleasure, nice to meet you. Hi, hello, hello. David, pleasure, nice to meet you. Okay, lots of stuff. Let me get the rest of my stuff. Perfect. Okay, awesome. Okay, so my journey with my driver has come to an end. I owe him 3,000 rupees. So if any of my Indian following thinks that's expensive, let me know, but I think it's a good deal. We drove two and a half hours to a different state and he still has to drive back. So, my friend, thank you. Thank you, thank you so much. much. Been a pleasure. What an incredible morning. It was so beautiful driving from Guwahati down to Shillong. I mean, two and a half hours going through these winding, beautiful roads with the fog and lush landscape. I mean, it really is the Scotland of the East. It looks incredible. I'm super excited to explore Shillong and Meghalaya over the next four days. If you love this video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below and subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you in the next food travel adventure in Shillong, Meghalaya, India. Peace. Oh, 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 oh,